There is a wealth of young sporting talent in Scotland, but there's only one school dedicated to nurturing this talent and developing the sporting excellence. The Glasgow School of Sport at Bella Houston Academy was set up in 1998 and runs in partnership with Glasgow City Council Education Services and Glasgow Life. It offers secondary pupils who are talented in sports, specialist training and a balanced curriculum of academic studies. The sports specialisms are athletics, badminton, gymnastics, hockey and swimming. High performance coaches lead the sport specific programmes, facilitate learning and deliver the highest quality of coaching to school pupils available in the UK. Glasgow School of Sport has been operating since 1998. We've been at the forefront of Scottish sport and continue to set the standards for school aged athletes. A key factor in this has been the wealth of experience we have in the high performance coaching team. All of our coaches have coached or competed at international level and this continues to have a huge influence on our athletes. A number of our coaches have been involved in the Glasgow 2014 and the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games. The coaches are responsible for developing individual training programmes for the athletes and work together with local clubs, organisations and their respective national governing bodies to support the athletes' overall development. Our coaches have been with us for many years and the consistency ensures we maintain that experience on a daily basis. The whole team here at the School of Sport are highly motivated and we work extremely hard to support our young athletes. The main difference is of course that they're doing their sport during school time. Yeah, so the uh, sport is fitted into the academic curriculum, depending on what you GR you get a varying degree of time in the athletics programme starting from maybe eight hours a week for our little S1s to 15 hours a week for our S6s. This allows so much more time, particularly in the senior programme, to do lots of things that you can't do on two or three nights a week at the club. We've got a lot of support service we can fit in, physio, S&C, nutritional services that we can all we can slide into the curriculum that allows us to give a more rounded athletic journey. If you come here and you prepare to work hard, there's every, every chance of success. A major purpose-built sports facility is available on site at Bella Houston Academy. As well as six badminton courts, a full-size hockey pitch, there is also a fully equipped strength and conditioning gym, resource room and physiotherapy room on site. It's basically like a, a six-year project and seeing the players develop from such a young age through to uh, an, an older age from 11 through to 18 year olds and the, the developments and improvements that, and watching them uh, grow on the court and off the court. Uh, over the years I've been here, uh, I've helped to produce over 100 national champions and British champions uh, playing all different competitions and tournaments throughout the, the UK and Europe. In addition to this, we've had a number of European medalists through the programme and also contributed a whole load of players to the national teams at various age groups and senior level in Scotland. The Centre of Excellence offers not only benefits to the School of Sport, but to Bella Houston Academy and other high performance groups, clubs and squads in associated sports. But the School of Sport isn't just about sport. A range of support services have been established to ensure a rounded approach to the development of the athlete. Sports science plays a key role. A series of tests is used to monitor the growth and development of each athlete and the effects of training. Blood lactate and field-based fitness testing ensures the correct balance of fitness is being achieved in each athlete. Anthropometric tests also enable windows of opportunity for accelerated development to be identified. The results of all tests are fed back into strength and conditioning programmes which are carefully tailored to meet the specific needs of the sport and the individual. So our SNC programmes are designed to develop well-rounded athletes and they focus on kind of long-term athletic development and future success. So through the development of a range of motor skills, um, we create resilient athletes that are more likely to be able to withstand future training loads and achieve their true potential in sport. The strength and conditioning team work closely with the physiotherapists at Hamden Sports Health and Injury Clinic to devise suitable rehabilitation programmes for any athlete that is injured. This ensures an appropriate return to play while maintaining fitness throughout the period of injury. We provide sports psychology support here at the Glasgow School of Sport as an additional support service. 
uh, we deliver a sort of structured program of mental skills to enhance performance and we look at applying them sort of in groups and in the classroom but we also like to bring them you know here to the pool to apply the skills in context but also take them out to the badminton court in competitions that sort of thing we're also very interested in not just getting them to become better performers in their sport but also getting them to apply the same skills to other areas of their life to make them better performers in life if you will so very much about becoming not just better athletes but better people as well. We've got fantastic facilities like Glasgow Green as you can see here today. We get access to Glasgow Green every day and unlike most groups we get to train with our children every single day of the school calendar. The hockey programme is supported by three high performance coaches. Derek Forsyth is our current senior men's coach and he took the team through Commonwealth Games tournament in Glasgow 2014 and more recently the Gold Coast in Australia 2018. And Ewan Miller who is our most qualified youth coach in the country dedicated to youth hockey. I myself have been lucky enough to work with both our senior women and senior men's teams, have been to a World Cup and the World Cup qualifier. Between us we've managed to produce 13 Commonwealth Games athletes, which in a team sport of 11 aside means we've produced an entire team of Commonwealth Games athletes for Scotland. But with our modified curriculum they get to train for hockey every single day within the school term. So they don't do it before school or after school, they do it as part of the school curriculum. We also work with really small numbers. We take 20 athletes a year across five sports, so hockey we only get three or four. So our combined year group is five, six or seven players. That allows us to work with two to three coaches with five, six or seven players. So we bore down into the really specifics of that individual. Most groups are working with 20 athletes and one or two coaches. So they don't get the amount of contact time and they don't get the coach to player ratio that we can really focus on the skills. For fifth and sixth year of high school, I came to the School of Sport. Um, there I specialised in my sport, uh, getting all the top quality coaching that you get here and managed to progress into the national team. The input from the School of Sport has been absolutely massive. Um, it gives you the opportunity to learn how to balance studies, um, workload, all the sporting input that needs to be done, but also understand what it takes to be an elite athlete. You need to put in the hours and to have that time during the school to do it, you, your body gets used to it, you get adjusted to to working that hard mentally being switched on but also being able to do your, your studying as well. The training facilities at the Glasgow School of Sport are amongst the best in the country. Our athletes are able to develop in a nurturing and professional environment where we prepare them to excel within the national performance programmes. We pride ourselves in a strong working partnership with both the gymnastic clubs and the national govern body. We have helped to produce seven Commonwealth Games gymnasts, a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist and a junior European silver medalist and have a number of other gymnasts competing at both national and international level. My name is Kelvin Cham and I got a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast. In your own sport there's also the best athletes in each age group so it's going to be a very high performance um, elite programme so that's why I would want to join. They're quite professional and they know what they're doing so being around that you might not get in a normal school, so I think it makes a big difference that you get to see that every single day. The Sport Education Programme provides pupils with qualifications in sports leadership. S4 pupils study the SCQF Level 4 in sports leadership, with S5-6 pupils taking the SCQF Level 6 in sports leadership. I am currently working with our youth leaders to support them to be more confident and creative when they go out and deliver coaching within the schools. We are doing that in partnership with Scottish Sport Features, Sport Scotland and UK Coaching. With this team it's supporting them to be confident so when they go out to the schools they can deliver a variety of sport and physical activity opportunities to get more people more active. Integration within the main school is important. The daily sports contact increases a pupil's progress through school. The programme has been designed to give the athlete the opportunity to realise their full sporting and academic potential. So young people who apply to and are offered a place at the Glasgow School of Sport um, have a slightly different curriculum to other young people who attend Bella Houston Academy and the key adaption to their curriculum is that they have the opportunity to every single day have sports contact with the coaches at Glasgow School of Sport alongside a rich and broad curriculum of their other subjects that they would attend along with their peers. In the senior phase this means that young people in the School of Sport uh, wouldn't choose as many subject options as their counterparts 
um, so that they still have time set aside for sport each day. Uh, for that reason, we would encourage young people attending the School of Sport to seriously consider the benefits of staying at school until the end of S6. Uh, because this would give them the chance to accumulate a broad range of qualifications that reflect their potential. So this means, as well as developing their skills as athletes and preparing for the challenges that come with involvement in elite sport, they're also leaving Bellhousen Academy with the qualifications that open up pathways for their lives beyond school. I came here in 2011 and didn't really know that much about the School of Sport um, and what I've seen, I think every, every child should get the opportunity to come to it if they're good enough, um, the way that it balances their swimming or their sport with school and what that gives them, I think is just excellent. Their sport is part of their curriculum and it's a lot more balanced then. Um, and the way that we link, we link with City of Glasgow swim team. If they're to do seven or eight sessions a week in total for the club, four of them might be done at school. And that then frees up some time for them at night for studies, for social, or, just to, to have some extra rest and I think it, it's really good how it balances everything. When they first come they're absolutely exhausted because they've got travel, they've got swimming during the day and it's just a totally new routine but once they adapt to that they start to enjoy it if that makes sense. It's, they're enjoying their swimming during the day um, but they're getting more rest at night and they're able to do extra things that they weren't able to do before. It's the low ratio coach swimmer numbers they get so much more attention than being part of a big group. Maybe they're swimming four times a week at club and they're part of a group of 20 to one coach. Here there may be one coach to maybe six or eight at the most. Sometimes it's on a one-to-one. -one. And the technical input that we can give them and the knowledge that both myself and Jamie, the assistant, have um, through either working with other athletes, coaching at a high level or swimming at a high level, um, the, the children that come through us are benefiting from that. There are a number of stages in the selection process. Application forms are distributed widely for completion by parents, primary head teachers and PE teachers or coaches of primary seven pupils. Applications are also open to pupils who are currently at secondary school and may wish to join at one of the School of Sport's later entry points of third, fifth or sixth year. If pupils are successful and make it through the sports trials, they'd be invited to the final selection day. The selection process should ensure that the individuals are able to cope with the physically and mentally demanding workload of the school. The School of Sport are proud to have supported athletes who've competed and medalled at European, Commonwealth, World and Olympic levels. If you think you have the potential, take the first step through the School of Sport to Sporting Excellence. Glasgow School of Sport, developing the sporting stars of the future.